Well, welcome back everyone. The sell-off in markets continues. Let's use the power of our tools to identify, then evaluate, and see whether or not executing more bearish trades is the likely better move in the day or days ahead. Uh, or do we actually have the potential for a counter trend bounce. We're going to start off with this layout that we utilized during my presentations in last week's incredible Wealth 3C5 uh, Summit. What I want you to focus in on is the analysis tab in the Invest Pulse AI, proprietary technology, real AI technology, using award-winning competition winning strategies developed by the only 32-time real money on-site domestic and international trading champion, Rob Hoffman, the Champion Trend Pack suite of tools is going to be put against a basket of ETFs that give us a sense of the global market from equities to bonds, commodities, uh, precious metals, oil, etc. And we're going to ask Invest Pulse to go and take a multi time frame approach to let us know whether or not today's sell off landed price action in a way where one could start to see a turn in some of the risk on um, ETFs or asset classes, equities in particular. So I'm going to go scan for this. Now, I've done this already. I'm just showing you an example. And the answer was there was no items that matched those, uh, you know, the, the outcome that we were looking for. In fact, I'll show you that I did so on each of the time frames, and the one that popped up that was, uh, you know, potentially valuable here was uh, uh, the UUP ETF, the dollar, and it popped up on a long-term swing basis. Now, you can see going all the way from short-term day trade, long-term, to both of the time frames on swing, hey, this, uh, the tool scoured all of the major ETFs that are included that I will show you a watch list of right now, that give you a good sense of the entire global market. So you can see that uh, down the list there. Now, with this fact in mind, the InvestPulse AI has taken us on that ride to tell us, no, we haven't had a turn yet. That would be a bearish omen, a higher probability, more so than omen. And then we're going to take those exact same list of ETFs and move into the evaluate stage so that we can be notified by each of the components of the Champion Trend Pack Toolkit and get a sense of whether or not something is getting closer to a bullish turn that would be bullish for equities. Now, what I've got happening over here is a sort for the youngest bullish move using the champion cross indicator to, uh, to effectively uh, sort on. And then I've got the rest of the tools following. Do I have the spy up at the top? No, it's the dollar followed by volatility, and then, of course, gold and silver. Uh, then we've got the entire bond market. You know, where the S&P is is down over here. It's still in a bearish spot. Now, what I'm going to do is do a quick scan over here to see if we've got more of the major equity indices near the end of their overall market move. And you can see that I'm doing this on a four-hour time frame because I'm looking for something that's turned overall um, or very late in its down move. Now, that would be stage three items on the Champion Trend Pack sequence of signals and what's at the top of the list? The S&P. So this opens the door okay, for a potential, a potential, I'm not saying it will happen, counter trend bounce that I want to be watching out for. Now, the cues are obviously a big, big uh, negative area today. Uh, and in the after hours, we're not seeing anything from Netflix that's really uh, changed the pace of that. So when I look at the cues on that four hour time frame, I know that we've gone through stage three. You can see that it's there. We've had champion trend, champion cross, a range breaker, wealth signal, breakout forecasters, and an incremental one today. So by no means am I advocating for a long side trade. I want to make sure that I'm not stepping into something that you know could have a counter trend bounce on us ahead of the next leg down. So if I want to take this further, effectively, I want to get to the execution tab and I want to look at it on a multi time frame basis and get a good sense of where we could land and potentially bounce. Well, land, bottom of the champion cross buy zone on a weekly chart for the queues. Well, that effectively is sitting right in and around the $418.50 penny marker. A $5 move down from today's close to test that zone 
which happens to be where the second breakout, second last breakout forecaster is, has a high probability of holding and a counter trend bounce forming. So the way that I think we may see this play out is a down that starts to look like we're getting into a correction. Lots of folks get bared up and then we get a bounce. Now, of course, I'm not going to dig my heels in. Uh, if we do break the champion cross by zone bottom, the champion trend trail line would be the next potential destination. And as you saw, we're in the latter stage of the sequence of sell signals across those macro major macro um, assets that we just looked at. And that includes the entire global equity market, uh, emerging markets, the queues, and the SPY. So this put all together tells me I want to watch my back for a counter trend bounce, but I'm expecting a lower low. Is it going to be a correction or are we going to find some support and bounce? Well, this is where I'm going to be building on your knowledge for all of you wonderful new wealth charters and our loved long-standing wealth chart student family and BBT student family. We're going to do an accelerator class on Saturday where I add the wealth chart member exclusive indicators to the champion trend pack and show you how things like the spike 2.0 tool can add more depth to whether or not this market is going to likely continue directly down or have a counter trend bounce. The one hour chart suggests that we may have a counter trend bounce because we're running out of high octane bearish fuel. But I know that the bigger picture charts do still say we're likely coming down to make a lower low. So how do I want to trade this? Very simply, want to be very cautious with new additions to bearish positions and be on the ready to potentially add. If we counter trend bounce, better, better to add it at a higher spot. Folks, I'm looking very much forward to the class on Saturday. Have an incredible rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And again, Wealth Charters, long-term Wealth Charts student family, uh, and all of you new Wealth Charters from last week's summit. Save the date this Saturday, April the 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be going into a power pack class with examples to use these amazing tools for high probability trade setups with lots of examples. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and we'll see you in videos just like these in the coming days to a week. Bye for now, everyone.